The Krusty Krab. It's a favorite hangout to the local young folk, a must visit to any tourist, and the home to satisfied customers and employees alike. Here are the six biggest mysteries about the Krusty Krab. Number six, the origin. For the most famous underwater fast food burger joint in the world, it's a little fishy that its origins aren't quite clear. See, in the episode The Krusty Krab Training Video, we're told that Mr. Krabs acquired a bankrupt retirement home and made extensive renovations, turning it into the burger joint we know and love. But take a closer look at this retirement home. Before Krabs took over, why was there already a poster of a burger in the window? And you can even make out the Krusty Krab menu hanging by the cash register. If this was really a retirement home, why does it still look like a restaurant on the inside? And what's stranger, in the episode Grandpappy the Pirate, Mr. Krabs heavily implies that the Krusty Krab used to be his pirate ship. Is it possible that this footage of the retirement home was staged? Sadly, there's just not enough evidence to know for sure. Number five, the employees. Okay, so we kind of covered this in our last episode when we asked who makes the Krabby Patties when SpongeBob has the day off. But here's an even bigger question. Who runs the place when SpongeBob Squidward and Mr. Krabs have the day off? The three of them have been sighted all around town together during normal business hours. We know Krabs would never just shut down the Krusty Krab for the day, not with all that money to be made. I can smell the money already! And yet, we rarely see any trace of other employees working at the Krusty Krab. We've seen each of these guys work there in the past. Maybe they get together and run things while the others are gone. Like an elite Krusty Krab task force. I'd watch a show about that. Number four, the nautical flags. At first glance, you might think these flags are simply decorative, but you may not know that these are actual official nautical flags, or flags used by sailors to convey messages to one another. When translated, each flag can be assigned a letter, R, I, a mysterious flag that doesn't exist in the nautical alphabet, U, and K. Is that supposed to stand for something? Royal Investment of Underwater Crabs? Reef blowing is undoubtedly coral? Maybe this mystery flag would shed some light on the strange message? They must mean something, right? Number three, the green slime. One extremely unique feature of the Krusty Krab is its famous slime oozing walls. It seems like just about every time we see these walls, they're oozing green slime. Okay, so that's not exactly true. We've only ever seen the walls ooze green slime one time in the episode Graveyard Shift. The walls will ooze green slime! Oh, wait, they always do that. But then why does Squidward claim they always do that? We've scoured the archive and cannot find a single other instance of the walls oozing green slime. Is it something that only happens at night? At night. Maybe those mysterious other employees are the only ones who ever see it happen. But the bigger question here is, why in the world do they use green slime at all? Seems like something crabs should get fixed. Nah, he's probably too cheap. Come back on $2! Two dollars? No, no! Number two, underwater wood. The design of the Krusty Krab is well known and iconic. From its postmodern rope art in the windows to its use of these gorgeous low grade used barrels as chairs, it's truly a feat of modern interior design. But maybe its most prominent feature is its rustic wooden look. Everything from the floorboards to the rafters seem to be made of wood, which begs the question where do they get the wood? Do they have some form of underwater trees? Maybe Sandy, being a surface dweller, imported the wood when she moved to the bottom of the sea. Or could crabs be secretly harvesting plant life from Sandy's tree dome without her knowledge? The answer's unclear, but one thing's for sure. Mr. Krabs is an interior decorating genius. Number one, it's shape. Regardless of what it's made of, there is one major question that can't be overlooked. Why is this building shaped like a crab trap? That's right, here's an image of an actual crab trap. And here's the Krusty Krab. The similarities are undeniable. Why would a crab want to run a business out of a building designed to capture crabs? Was it an ironic marketing choice designed to gain media attention? Is Krabs unaware of what a crab trap looks like? He knew what the hooks were all about, so presumably he knows about crab traps.
Or is it because Mr. Krabs' lust for money drives him to dedicate his entire life to making every penny possible? Too obsessed with profit to ever entertain the notion of what the building used to represent? Retirement. Effectively trapping himself in a cycle of an endless daily grind in this very building for the rest of his life. Anyone know how many days it's been? I lost track. Or maybe a fisherman dropped it. No! There you have it. The Krusty Krab is a mysterious entity full of questions that we may never answer. But we do have the answer to one final bonus question. Is this the Krusty Krab? No! This is Patrick! Oh.